وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور And this is it my people, think about it In the Quran, listen to these words, please listen Al-Haqa Muttakathur God is saying the worldly life distracts you. That is the reality, people. You are distracted by your life. How fun is your life? The sun is shining. I'm riding my bike. I'm drinking my Coke. It's the real thing. I'm having such a good time. You know what? Your life distracts you. The dunya, the world, it distracts you. Until you reach the grave. Yes, the grave. Death. The death is the thing that we don't think about. Death is the thing we want to forget it. Death is the thing we don't want to hear about death. Don't talk to me. We don't even call it death. We call it kicking the can. He passed away. He passed away. He, he, he left us. No death, people. Death is the reality. That is one thing you can be sure about. You want to know something that you can be sure about? You want some surety? Death. Death is going to come to me, it's going to come to you. You can be rich, you can be poor. You can be a ruler of a land with 70 billion dollars in your bank account and death is going to come to you. You can be, you can be Obama or you can be the man who empties the din. Bin. Death is going to come to you. Man, woman, children, the young, the old, the poor, the weak, the needy. Death is the equalizer. It is going to come and take every single one of you. And what have you prepared? What have you prepared for death? Do you even know what is going to happen when you die? Oh, I'll find out when I get there. But listen, people, by every account, by every account, whether you're a Hindu, whether you're a Buddhist, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Jew, whether you're a Muslim, every account of death tells us that when you die, it's too late. You have to decide now. It's what you do in this life that is going to determine what happens to you when you die. The only people who say something different are the atheists. They say there is no God. This whole universe is a random event. A random event. A ra if I told you this bottle randomly, spontaneously appears, you'd say I was crazy. And this is simple. A bottle is a simple thing of water. How about this universe in which we live? How about this? How about us, our bodies? Are we simple? None of you would believe that about anything. So let's just put atheism to a side because it's a fantasy. But anyone else who has some spiritual insight will tell you death. Death, it's too late. Once you're dead, it's too late. So Allah says in the Quran, al the worldly life distracts you until you reach the graves. Then you will come to know. Then you're gonna know. Then definitely you'll come to know. What are you gonna know when you're dead? What are you going to know when you're dead? What are you going to realize when you're dead? You know what you're going to realize, people? Allah says, Al-Jaheem. You know what Al-Jaheem is? It is the fire of hell. Yes. I, I'm sorry I said it. Hellfire. And I don't apologize that I'm here to warn you of a day. A day when the sun will be more close. A day when we will sweat. A day when mankind will be in terror. When they will be in fear. When we will be running like we are in a drunken riot. But we will not be drunk. We will not be drunk with alcohol. It is the fear that will make us run. Because this is the day that we denied. This is the day we ignored. This is the day we forgot. It is the day of judgment. The day when our Lord, our Creator, your Lord and my Lord will ask us about every single thing that we have done. Every atom's weight of good and every atom's weight of evil will be asked about it. Allah will ask us on that day, what did you do? What did you believe? Why did you believe it? What did you do with this gift? And what have we done with our lives, people? What have we done with our lives? What have we achieved? 
What significance have we achieved? What have we done? There's this singer. What was her name? This singer that died. Amy Winehouse. Huh? Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. What name is that? Winehouse. <laughs> but you know what? I'm sorry. I feel saddened by the death of anybody. But what a name. Winehouse. You know what? I'm listening about the death of this girl who killed herself. Really, she killed herself through her drug addiction. But at the same time, I'm listening on the news and I'm hearing stories of a woman in Somalia who walked 30 days, 30 days she walked with her family to live, to live. And we, in this society, we have everything and we throw it away to take drugs and kill ourselves. What is that? We are insane. Who are we to tell the world how we should live? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. What do we have to offer? Coca-Cola, cars, pollution, depression, drugs. Really? Are you thinking, people? Do you sit and think about your life? Do you think where you came from and where you're going to? Do you think about death? Have you prepared for that journey? You know that people, any one of you will go on a holiday. You know what you'd do if you went to a strange land? You'd prepare, you'd get a visa, you'd get the currency, you'd learn about the diseases in that land, you'd prepare yourself. What have you prepared for death? What have you prepared for the day when you will meet your Lord and your Creator and you will stand in front of Him naked, no clothes? You know, you can't take it with you when you go, people.